Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a first impressions video for you all. So today it's going to be on a foundation from Maybelline. Um, it's their Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. And it says that it's for normal to oily skin. I bought mine in the shade 220. So hopefully it matches. They do have, in Australia, they don't have too many shades. I think they have six or seven shades. And this is the third darkest. That's probably not the best, but whatever um yeah i just kind of winged it i hope it matches it looks a bit not right but we'll see we'll see <laughs> oh yeah the bottle's kind of really really nice it's just a sleek glass with black lid my favorite type of packaging <laughs> is when you can see the fluid inside um i already know this won't have a pump because i saw the tester in the store um so that's kind of a downside um so you do need to pour it out it does have a slight smell but nothing like artificial or fragrant or anything like that um normally i show you how big the pump size is but this doesn't have one so i'm going to tip some onto a surface i guess so i'm just going to tip some onto the back of this palette that i've sanitized it's not super runny but it's not super thick either so i'm just going to use that much and i'm just going to do one side of my face and then we'll compare it to the other side obviously my face doesn't match my body because I fake tan um, but yeah from this foundation I'm hoping that will give me quite good coverage purely for the fact that it says matte and when I think of matte foundations I think they've got higher coverage than like more dewy foundations that might be all in my head but that's what I'm expecting from this foundation so I'm gonna do one side of my face and then we'll compare it to the other side um, I haven't used any primer or anything like that I've only moisturized my face um, and that's it. I'm not using any primer and I don't think I'm going to use any powder. We'll see how I go. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just going to use a tiny little bit. Ooh, I'm liking the colour so far. It's blending out quite nicely, so I do like that. I feel like I used a little bit of product and it's given me quite nice light coverage, but not super light, like there's nothing on my face. I'm just going to go in with a bit more. I feel like this is quite buildable so I do like that and it's not going patchy or anything like that which I also quite enjoy. By the way this is in natural lighting I don't have my artificial lights on at the moment just so you guys can see like the foundation at its most real. Um, yeah. <laughs> I quite enjoy that coverage like it's nice medium coverage. Um, but I feel like I could build it in the redness that I like in my where I blah 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 where I have redness, which is more like here on my cheeks. Um, so yeah, here's like a side by side comparison. I'm not too sure if you can really tell the difference, but I definitely can. Um, it's even out my skin tone. That's a plus. Um, it's kind of reduced my redness. It's not that my redness isn't too bad today, but. It has definitely reduced it compared to this side, um, if you can see. And it's even out my skin tone, as any foundation should do. Um, but anyway, so I'm quite happy with how far this foundation goes. Like, a little bit of product does go quite a long way, and you don't need to use a lot of product to get good coverage. Just for reference, I do have quite normal combination skin. So just for reference, I do have quite normal combination skin. Um, I only really get oily in the T-zone. And even then, my forehead isn't that oily. It's mainly just my nose that gets oily. I love how easy this foundation is to blend. Like, it doesn't feel like hard to blend at all because I think it's just got the most perfect texture. So I personally feel like one layer gives me quite good medium coverage. I'm quite happy with that. I feel like that would be a perfect amount for every day. Um, let's see if we can build it up just a little bit in the areas that I need it, which is mainly here on my cheeks, um, just to kind of get my skin to be one tone. I'm just using the tiniest amount, and I'm just going to pat my brush just to build up the coverage. That built up so nicely. Wow. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Like, I can see the tiniest bit, but I'm not going to go another layer. I don't think it needs it. Now I'm just going to do this side. Because you can see that's completely, like, one tone now. Love that. Okay, so far I'm quite impressed, but I'm not really close to a mirror. So let me look up close and see if it's making me look poreless. 
Okay, so looking up close in the camera, it definitely hasn't made me look poreless, but it also hasn't sunken into my pores either. I feel like some foundations would just pull up in your pores and look disgusting. This doesn't do that, but it also doesn't make you look airbrushed. I guess it's not claiming that. I guess it's making you look poreless. So looking up close in the camera, in the camera? No, in the mirror, um, it doesn't make me look poreless, but it's not emphasizing my pores either. And to be fair, as long as it doesn't emphasize my pores, I'm not that fussed. Um, so yeah, so far, so good. I'm gonna go finish off the rest of my makeup. It's currently 10.36 at the moment. So I will check back with you in a little bit and we'll see how this foundation is going. Okay guys, so I'm back. I finally applied all my makeup. It's currently 11.58. Yes, it took me over an hour to just do like basic makeup. Don't even judge. It's the weekend and that's when I love to play with makeup. But anyway, I am so, so impressed with how this foundation is looking at the moment. It's not like a dry, pasty, cakey, shit looking matte. It's a very, very radiant, but still very beautiful matte finish. It's definitely not dewy and it's it's more like a satin matte hybrid is how I would describe it because you can still see a luminosity to my skin. It's just quite matte and kind of like, you know when you look at like the Chanel models and how they kind of just look really, really doll like, that's how I feel like my skin looks, I think, at least to me and at least in real life. That's how I feel like my skin looks. It doesn't make me look oily. It doesn't make me look dry. It just makes me look very, very healthy. Okay guys, I am back. It's basically two o'clock now. And this is what the foundation looks like in natural light. Um, it doesn't look as perfected as it did when I first put it on. Um, but then again, what is as perfect as when you put it on? Um, I am starting to see a little, 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 little bit of shine come through on my T-zone. So fingers crossed that it doesn't get any more shiny because if it gets any more shiny, I'm not gonna be a happy girl at all. Um, it's not really sinking into my laugh lines or my pores any more than it was before. Um, so that's good. Color hasn't changed, hasn't really faded anywhere, at least to me it hasn't really faded anywhere. And also, I forgot to actually talk about the foundation. Um, so this foundation doesn't have any SPF in it, so that could be a good or a bad thing, or at least I can't see any SPF in it. Um, so depending on who you are, that could be a good, it could be a bad thing. Um, and then in this bottle there is 30 ml so just a standard fluid ounce um, and I'm not really too sure what else to really say I think those are the only two things that I really wanted to talk to you guys about that I forgot to before so I am sorry but yeah I will check back with you maybe later this afternoon okay guys so I am back for my final update of the evening it's not even that late to be fair it's only just on or just about six o'clock um, so this foundation's been on for maybe about eight hours, I want to say, maybe a bit less, I'm not too sure. Considering I haven't used primer and I haven't used powder all day at all, I feel like this foundation is going quite well. Like my nose is definitely really shiny, like can you see that? That's gross. <laughs> that is so gross. But I did notice that here and here rubbed away. Like you can't really notice because of my bronzer but like I can definitely see like my natural skin there <laughs> so I don't know what happened there I don't know if it like wore away on like my shirt or something I don't really know I'm quite impressed like the coverage has definitely gone down and I do feel like my bronzer has gone a bit icky like not icky but it's worn away a little bit like faded a little bit which normally doesn't happen to me very often so it's quite weird that it's happened now i used the nars casino bronzer today and i've never had that issue with the bronzer itself so i guess the question from now is would i recommend this foundation and who would i recommend it to i think this foundation is really really beautiful especially when i first applied it it was really really nice it was easy to blend it didn't take too long to dry it was good coverage the color's nice quite nice overall when you first apply it and even the first few hours it's quite nice even on my even at like one o'clock it was still really really nice um, and I was quite happy with it but getting towards the end of a day it's not looking the best and let's be real when I go to work I get ready at like 6 30 in the morning 
and I come home sometimes at like 10 o'clock at night. I don't have time to touch up my foundation. I don't have time to redo my foundation. Like, I don't have time for that. Like, if I'm going to work, I'm going to work. I'm not going there to like look pretty. Like, I'll do my makeup and I want it to last all day. I don't think this foundation does that, but if you just want a foundation for a few hours, so say maybe two, three, four hours, four hours, five hours is stretching it to the maximum. I think this foundation still looks quite nice. And if you have time to touch up and look after it, I do think it is still quite nice. Um, even if you just give it a quick blot, like a quick blot with powder or something like that, I think it'll be quite good. But if you're a type of person that you can, you physically only have like when you put on your makeup and maybe like one time throughout the day to touch up, I don't think this is the best one for you. Like it's quite random how this rubbed off. Like I don't hate it, but it's obviously not desirable. So yeah, that's all I really have to say. It's a good foundation the first few hours, but longevity, it's not there. I'm sure that with primers or something like that, it could last a bit better, but on its own, it doesn't live up to the matte standard at least all day. But with that being said, it also doesn't claim to be an all-day foundation either. So it's kind of like one of those, my expectations versus what it actually claims to do. I don't know. I don't know. I do like it. I'll definitely use it again, but it will not be a foundation that I'll reach for when I'm going to work or going out clubbing or going out with my friends. It will just be one of those foundations that I will wear if I'm going around, like going around town for a few hours or something like that. I hope that made sense and I hope actually seeing the foundation on my face has made an opinion or made up your mind in regards to if you think that this foundation would be good for you. I mean like none of it wore away and none of it went like chunky or gross so that's great. Um, it's just that it didn't physically last on my skin very well. But I will definitely keep you updated if my opinions dramatically change with testing it. But those were my first impressions. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below any products that you want to see from me next. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.